<laughs> well. Not everyone agreed with that. It is a beautiful looking place, but I don't want to be here at night. Scorpions, snakes, it's got a lot. A million ways to die out here. Still, at least I had my new spotlights. Ah. Well, they're dud. They make no difference. Oh! All these stones are hitting right under the car, right where I've lodged that bracket back on to hold the radiator up. If the radiator drops and it's a rock, it can get ripped off, and that's a game finisher. Oh! Oh, God! Despite everything, though, I managed to stumble across my concerned colleagues. It's a tent, moving by itself. Well, there's it's just been in the desert. Crossing the desert. And found Jeremy had made supper. This made us very philosophical. I'll tell you what. If the three wise men had done the journey now, they wouldn't have bothered going there, and school nativity plays would be a lot easier to cast. Now you've got to have front half a donkey, back half a donkey, shepherds. I was a mouse once in a school nativity play. Explain that. A mouse? Yeah. Well, because they wanted something unbelievably small. I remember, I distinctly remember, I had like a cardboard mouse head costume on. I was the front of the donkey and I was so irritated by it, I took the donkey costume off halfway through so people could see it was me. And nobody could tell the difference. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose you were the infant king, were you? Um, I was a shepherd, because I had a dressing gown. <laughs> The next morning, the sun rose to the sound of the BMW Dawn Chorus. Armed. Disarmed. <laughs> oh, my God! That sounds like a diesel locomotive. It's going. <laughs> I don't think the what? desert's doing your Africa Core car any good at all. Despite the modifications, our little sports cars were even less suitable here than they had been in the war zones. Ah, oh, ah, oh, oh, this is not good. Can you not hear stones ripping through the under of your car to pieces? 